Hey guys, I want to show you a few hacks that we have found that work for us for our wonderful wagon. Um, this is the W4, so it seats four kids. The seats come out, they can play just in the wagon or they can sit down. Let me start by saying that um, none of these hacks are probably endorsed by Wonderfold, so um, do this at your own risk. You may void your warranty by doing any of these aftermarket uh, adjustments. So just let that be known and um, do this if you want to. First, you probably noticed that we have a leather wrapped handle instead of the neoprene handle that comes with the wagon. Um, and I removed the neoprene handle and stitched the leather handle on top of that. Um, that little hack only costs hmm, about $10. I got the leather steering wheel cover from Amazon and I will post a link below for that. Um, I will say that it was a lot more difficult than I intended it to be um, or than I expected it to be. Um, my stitching isn't perfect because I got rushed to finish it. Um, once you start, you are stuck with it until you finish. You can't really start and come back to it later. So um, if you do that project, then I would give yourself a good hour and a half or two hours so that you can take your time and not be rushed with it and make better looking stitches than I did. So, I'll show you that up close. Um, so, yet yeah, there, I mean, there's some spots that are good, like this middle section, um, and then some spots that are kind of sloppy. So, another thing that we do is um, we fold the handle down when we put it in the car because you know, we've got four kids, so we carry around a lot of stuff, and it just gives us a little extra room. I'm going to show you those. I ordered these D-rings, um, and we replace some of the screws with these. You get a pack of four of these for like eight bucks, um, eight fifty, something like that. Let me start by saying that um, none of these. Hacks are probably endorsed by Wonderfold. So first you're going to remove this top um, screw from the handlebar. Really easy to take off. Now you can remove these every time you load and unload the wagon if you want to. But we have found the D-rings to be an easier solution. So we're gonna take these off. And our handle folds flat when we don't need it. So here's what we do. We keep these in the back of the car, these D-rings. And we just pop them through and latch it. Put the other side through and latch it. And there's no wiggle. It fits perfectly. Um, easy to put in. Easy to take off. And when we're ready to load it up, just pull them out. And fold the handle down. So something else that we do. Um, our kids are 18 months old. They are kind of to the point where they don't like to be fully restrained at their shoulders and you know these wagons come with a really great five point harness but um, now we just use the little lap harness to keep them seated so they can't climb up on the seats whenever they feel like it. This was really easy we just slipped off the little shoulder pads and let me show you how we tuck them inside. The strap and they tuck nicely into the back of the seat. 
save them for later if you need them. And um, then we just clip these around their laps. And then when we have the snack tray in the middle, it really keeps them from getting up and moving around. Um, if you have never heard of a Wonderfold wagon, I highly suggest you checking them out. They make wagons for um, one kid, two kids, four kids. Um, they're really awesome. It's, it's made really well. Um, it has been able to withstand our four-year-old and our 18 month old triplets and we've had it for, I don't know, probably six months. Um, and we really don't even use a conventional stroller anymore. Um, this just works for us better. Um, it folds up really easily. Um, they have plenty of room. It's got lots of storage, lots of options for snack trays and parent consoles and all that great stuff. So yeah, if you like this, um, give it a like. Uh, visit the links below and subscribe and hopefully I will have more of these to show you all later. Thanks.